Joshua Lockett, and I am in the Recording Arts program here at Full Sail University. And today I chose to do a video discussion post on communication. For this discussion post, I asked two of my friends my strengths and weaknesses when it comes to communication, and both of them had similar answers. Um, they told me two of my strengths where I feel it, they feel like I'm very comfortable when it comes to talking to strangers, and that. I always look for the positive in a negative conversation. Uh, this and I, I can agree with and I can disagree with at the same time. I'm not too comfortable when it comes to talking to strangers being the fact that I don't really know the person. Um, even in class when we are talking about it, um, it's easier for you to talk to somebody you know rather than talk to somebody you don't know because you don't know their beliefs. You don't know what's going to make them angry like you don't know what kind of reaction you're going to get out of people in a regular conversation that you would have with any of somebody else that you do know so um i kind of i kind of feel like I'm, i fit in that category where i'm like in between <laughs> i feel kind of comfortable talking to people but there's certain stuff that i don't talk about when it comes to talking to certain people because i don't know what kind of reaction i'm going to get out of them um my two weaknesses they said were it seems like when I'm not interested in the conversation, my facial expression shows it and that I tend to show no empathy when it comes to empathetic situations. Um, I can agree with this completely. I feel like when I'm not engaged or I don't know too much about a topic, I won't actually add my input. I will sit there and, and try to listen to you, but if I'm not interested in the conversation, I, I can't really pay too much mind to it. Um, I try all the time. Uh, it just doesn't work out for me. Uh, about the emotion thing, um, it's just the way I was raised. Um, I can say the military actually didn't make it any better. Uh, it's just certain situations I feel like everybody just needs to find their way out of it. Anything I say probably won't make anything better. It's like I can try to persuade you that things are good, but you know, at the end of the day, you're still going to think about what just happened, you know, so, um, but uh, me, the facial expressions and the, the body language, that's uh, part of our nonverbal communication topic. Um, a lot of people, they tend to give off a, a certain vibe with their body language, and you can either feed off of that, that body language to, to have a better understanding of how somebody feels, or people can misread your body language and then misjudge you just because of that because I stand all kinds of ways when I talk to people especially in front of like presentations and stuff like that you see my hands go up and do the Ricky Bobby thing and stuff so uh, I guess that's another one of my downsides so right. well I guess that pretty much wraps up my video discussion post I like to thank you for listening if you did listen um, I'm open to hear what you guys have to say